Hey guys, Mike here with another video and I'm um, really excited to show you the updated version of this collapsible clover trap or this collapsible um, uh, combo trap is what we're calling it. Um, the last video I made on it, we had the white mesh bag in the center and you can go back, I'll link the video below and I'll put like a card up top so you guys can see it. Um, but this is just a totally redone version of that. The problem we were having with the mesh bag is number one, it was just super time consuming to do the mesh. Uh, having to, to loop it around. I just I just didn't like the way it turned out. And so we kind of, my wife and I put our heads together and we've come up with a, um, like a hard version of that. So there's no more mesh bag in the middle. It's still, obviously as you can see, uh, folds down and collapses. So I wanted to share this with you guys and just kind of walk you through it. And then we'll be adding um, either this one or one very similar to this. If we want to tweak something, we might change it. But I feel like this is a much more finalized version uh, than what we had last time. So if you will uh, come in, I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble this. So we got the same exact setup. It's got two funnels on each side, um, but as you can see, it is collapsed down and it just, I mean, this thing holds together like in this state very, very well. I would say it folds down to about, how wide is that? Maybe three inches about? Yeah. The little boxes at the bottom are inch each. And so what, three inches, four inches? Three inches. Three inches, yeah. So about three inches wide. It's 24 and then three inches wide. So again, this one will ship like flat and it'll ship a lot cheaper than a normal trap would. Uh, this again is going to be great for any kind of bait fish you want to catch. Um, you know, ideal plastic or this plastic coated wire. It is welded wire, but it's coated with plastic. It's going to be great for salt water, um, great for fresh water. Uh, you can flip the trap on its side, just like the other one. You can catch it, you know, use it to catch crawfish. So it's really, you can catch anything you want to in this. So let me show you how to assemble it. Uh, first, you would just disconnect the side parts. That kind of holds everything together and that slides out. Do the same on this side. These are all done with marine, marine grade bungee, and it just pulls apart. Now we did take the, the first video or the first trap I made, I made where the little prongs would stick out here to kind of help keep the fish in. Um, there's debate on that. Some people say it works better to have the prongs so the fish don't find their way out. In this one, I would have liked to have kept them there, but the reality is having a collapsible trap that would slide together, that, that just didn't make sense. And so I, I feel like if you do lose any fish from it, it's not going to be enough to worry about. I wouldn't, I'm not that concerned about that, if that makes sense. So that's your sides. Now this thing is kind of, I won't say it's tricky. Once you do it once or twice, it makes sense. It does fold up, or it pops up just like the other one. And now you can see the bottom here has these, instead of the bag, it has metal um, sides on it. And so what you would do is put, can you zoom in on this right here? The bottom uh, I'm sorry, the top has a lid. So there's a one inch lid around the top and there's a one inch lid around the bottom. And so the way these things are designed is basically they just fold up and hit the edge of that lid and they stay in place. Now keep in mind, this is a bait box. And so even if a little bit bait comes out, like it, it's designed to do that, it's not a big deal. The bottom, they're, they're connected a little bit different. They're actually connected on the one inch lid, which allows this thing to lay flat and it doesn't come out past the trap. So you can still get it in a box and it still stays compact. And so, a little bit uglier on the bottom, but it works the way it's designed to work. And so now this thing folds up here, this thing folds up here, just like so. And we have some bungees that just basically wrap around the bait box to connect it. So these bungees, I'm gonna do it from the side here, would, and I am gonna work on getting some smaller uh, clips for this, but the bungee would just come around like this and you would just connect it on this side, however you wanna connect it. Two hands is obviously better. So if I'm gonna put it in the middle, and then hold around. So it connects on one side, it flips all the way around and connects there. And do the same with this other bungee as well. Now this part, I won't lie, is a little bit difficult. And it, part of it's because of these clips are so large. I'm gonna find me some smaller clips to make it a little easier. But that's that. So that bait box is in there in the middle. It's got the four inch by four inch bait box and you can look down in it. You can see, can you see down in it good? You can see there are some gaps here on the edge, but it's not enough to worry about. Like you have, the box itself is made out of one inch um, by a half inch wire. These gaps are not one inch. So really it's, it's a non-issue. Like if you pulled on it, you could pull it apart, but this isn't gonna be a big deal. If you put your bait down in there, it's gonna stay down in there. It's not gonna come out. And then once these, you know, eventually the bungees may dry rot on you, you can easily replace them. So this is something that you can keep, you know, forever as long as you take care of it. So that's that part. <clears throat> For the sides, just like the other one, flip it up on the side. And this goes in there just like so. And I'll do it sideways here. These little things hang over the edge, just like the other trap did. 
and you pull it down and latch it and that holds the whole thing down. flip it around again on this side again pull it down and latch it and that thing is together it's not coming apart friction is holding this together but also the bungees are holding it together it's not going to fall apart flip it over on the other side and you do the same thing and this wire that it's made out of is a bonded wire which means it's welded wire it's coated but the plastic on it is actually kind of glued to it so it's made really for marine applications like this is the, one of the best wire this is the best wire honestly i've ever seen and used for traps it's also a cage quality wire which means like the measurements on it stay accurate for the most part the whole way around uh, the, the whole way around the whole roll of wire and so that is the trap and you can see it has the one inch by three inch openings which make it legal in almost all public waters um, that's it, oriented vertically this way <clears throat> and if you wanted to use it to do like crawfish you would just turn the trap on its side and now you have ramps for the crawfish to come up into so really this is a super super versatile trap this thing um, in my brain it makes a lot of sense this is one of those that you can toss you know in like a boat um, keep it in a console somewhere of the boat not a console but like under your seat or something and you always have one available like um, great trap I think you know if you guys buy one you'll like it and if you have any questions about it, please feel free to drop a comment below or you can send me an email. It's mike at realtexasoutdoors. Right. Thank you guys for watching. You have a great day. God bless.